this trip we're off to Zaragoza, Spain to chase the Bassetti Ibex with Luis Miguel and Spanish Ibex. But first, we're going to enjoy some foods and culture of Madrid for a few days before we actually start the hunt. Oysters and wine, what more could one want? So you're good, you don't wanna you don't you wanna you don't wanna partake? No, I can't. Dude, look at this. Oh man, I'm like a freaking pedophile at recess right now. Mm. I really feel good. stuff because tomorrow's the day making sure I got my ride heads dialed in ready to rock earnings tight bow strings waxed luminox are engaged everything and this is super super cool I'm really excited about this hunt probably the last 10 years my life and one more. I can't believe it's all here. Finally starting tomorrow. Cheers, big ears.
breakfast of champions right here. What do you got there, Jason? Oh, yeah. We're all geared up. These big bad hunters. Ready to go chase the Bethetti Ibex. Bethetti Ibex. Luis. It's going to be awesome. He's going down. He's down. <laughs> he's, he's no, no, he's just down. He's down. He's laying. <laughs> When Leslie took down this monster Ibex, we were all super, super excited. This did nothing but fuel the fire to hurry up and get back out for more action. She did such a good job on this shot, and we were all super impressed with how this turned out right on day one of our big adventure. think Spain Ibex <laughs> that just happened yeah very quickly <laughs> Luis put us right on him <laughs> I mean it was great came in and shot this big old 
What do you guys call it? Billy here? Billy? Yes. Yeah. yeah, same. Just like any goat. Awesome. The first breakfast. The first ibex you hunt? Yeah. Bite honey. You gotta bite the huevos? Yeah. The bowl. Don't tempt me with a good time. I'll do it. Look at these lazy ass Americans just standing around. <laughs> <laughs> How cool this little vineyard is. Pretty sweet. Uh, Leslie just tagged out a nice big old 11 year old Ibex and uh, Anyways, it's a giant, it's cool. Big old cockroach looking horns coming off it. Big, big billy. So we're just in the process of packing, packing out now. So cool. Day one is in the books and now we're up early for day two to get things going for our second Ibex. The next morning the fog was against us and really made it challenging for spotting any kind of ibex and putting together any kind of plays but we still had a good time glassing and just had to wait till it warmed up and lifted the fog for us to get going we're sitting here waiting on weather we saw well you guys saw what a pretty good one yeah we got a pretty good one located hour ago yeah yeah the fog keeps coming in and out, so we're kind of waiting for it to go back out so we can relocate and try to make a move. Could be an hour, could be all day.
Okay, there. Are you ready? Yes. There is going to broadside. There. Okay, ready? Yeah. Reload. Reload. Okay. Still on him. It's okay. it's it's wounded, have you? Okay. Just it's behind the female. You see him? See him. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, down, down, down. Down? Down. It's going down, it's going down. Okay. So. Wait. It's still up, but right, it's going down. Okay. I'm just waiting. Now. It's a stand, okay? It's just, he's still standing there. Yeah. It's just still standing. Okay, I think he's going down. He's getting dizzy. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. He's going down. <laughs> That's a giant. Fuck. Big, big Ivex, sir. That's a giant. <laughs> down, down. It's down. Maybe, I'm no Ibex expert, but maybe 12. 13. 12 to 13, somewhere in there. Oh, <laughs> it's mwah. Mwah. Thank you. Thank Whew. you, animal. Thank you, Lord, for the blessing. Thank you. This has been an absolute dream come true right here. Wow. So cool. Thank you, Luis, <laughs> for being my boy. Yeah, amigo. Wow, I'm so grateful for this. This is so cool. The Fetty Ibex. Check. <laughs> wow. Oh. been a life well pretty close to lifelong dream coming out and doing the Bassetti Ibex in Spain and we just got ourselves a nice one hope uh, hope we're able to get this out of here okay and get it back home very blessed today I couldn't have done it without these two right here Luis and Luis jr. <laughs> me amigos yeah <laughs> and this is a this is the Ibis, the safety Ibis that we got. <laughs> it's okay. It's a big, big boy. So, uh, I see make now. I don't measure, but it's around 245. 245, wow. Big, big.
Now we celebrate. Up to this point, our mission was complete. We'd both taken really nice ibex, and now it was two more days of hunting, so we figured we would look for some management animals. The bad weather wasn't doing us any favors, but we were going to make do with what little time we still had left. You see? <laughs> it is an ibex. It's a fucking ibex. Look at this. All the way in that castle doorway. How old do you think that building is? 2,000 years? Something crazy? Yeah, maybe, look. That's look at this. So in that, in that entry of that place, there's an ibex laying there. Dead. What do you think? Sure. Like, Lu Luis wounded one how long? A week ago? But, a couple days ago? Yeah. Believe me, I think it's dead. You think that's... <laughs> what are the chances we spotted that all the way from over here across that village on these cliffs? Look at the neck. You see it's like with the scraby. Yeah. So you can see it. Sure, right. Fucking <laughs> nice. some tight streets. Scabies. Just climbed in here and died. Oh. That is? No way. You think? It is. That's the one you shot. Found it. <laughs> nice work, bro. <laughs> I spotted it. All the way on that mountain over there. In this entrance. Inside of a castle. No way. How's that for spotting? <coughs> That's crazy. 
That's crazy. All the way from that ridge, we glassed it. I don't know, I guess I was just looking at the hole and just saw it laying there. Unfortunately, right now, there's a really bad scabies pandemic that's wiping out a lot of these ibex and so we're trying to figure out a way to stop this from happening She's down, she's down. Down. So a lot of scrapey. <laughs> Give me some. <laughs> scabies, scabies are done. You know, the scabies are just so bad. And what we're doing is when we see one that's just covered in them, we have to do this, eliminate the problem because all that Ibex needs to do is go roll around just touch come in contact with another ibex through mating or whatever and the scabies get on that other ibex and then it's this problem just keeps growing and growing and growing so anyways we're driving down the road and we saw her just covered all, almost half of her hair is gone we'll go up there and take a look but now what we'll do is we're going to take some of the skin and any kind of ticks that are on her and then we'll um send in samples so, game conservation at its finest. It's a pity. It is a pity. This situation, yeah. it's, it's bad. Unfortunately, this problem is not leaving anytime soon. The locals believe they might lose up to 90% of the herd unless the Spanish government starts to take more action and get involved in protecting these magnificent animals. The Bassetti region is one of the most beautiful regions in Spain. The opportunity to come here and hunt these amazing ibex while in the rut was pretty impressive. Most of the billies were just so focused on chasing tail that they could care less about us being in the area. However, they did have their guards up and they have magnificent eyes so they could see us coming from a long ways away. Just a few more miles down the road, we spotted another female that had been infected with scabies. We decided this one I'd want to sneak in close and try to get her with my bow to help the problem. One thing I really didn't take for granted on this trip was being in an area where you could hunt these animals, but also appreciate the history of the country. 
Oftentimes we would be sitting on top of a rock pile or in an old abandoned castle from 2300 years ago, spotting game as it gave us the best lookout. Thousands of years and multiple generations, these castles have been used not only for protection, but giving a good lookout point for people to go and hunt ibex. Luis had told us about a one-horned ibex that he had seen in the area. We wanted to be able to participate in a management hunt, so we decided to go after it. Despite multiple failed attempts because the ibex was surrounded by so many females, it was hard to get in and make any kind of a play. However, as luck would have it, we had time on our side, so we had the entire day before we had to call it quits. This was our first time hunting in Spain, and it's not going to be our last. The people we met, the culture we experienced, the food we ate, the drinks we drank, everything about it was just absolutely amazing. It's left us chomping at the bit for more, and we'll be back again next year for Grados.